Good evening. Uh, my name is Fan Lam. I'm a faculty member in the bioengineering department. And uh, I'm a co-director of this new, brand new Master of Science program in biomedical image computing. So I'm going to refer you to MSBIC uh, to make my life easier from this point forward. And it's really a great pleasure today to give some brief introduction to you about this very exciting program that we are building. And just some context, so our vision to create this MSC, uh, MSBIC program is really to actually establish the first of its kind of a program in the country to actually prepare a new generation of leaders in the rapidly evolving field of biomedical imaging. I'll tell you why we think this is a rapidly evolving field, even though it has been present for more than a few decades. So as you may know, uh, the field of biomedical imaging and the technology it produced has really transformed biology and medicine. And just some simple example as the beautiful images shown in the lab here, they are all produced by technologies developed uh, by our colleagues on this campus and really offer you unprecedented views, uh, tools to actually allow us to visualize, understand and quantify biological processes and physiological processes in our body. And in the meantime, we also notice this trend of this rapid development of machine learning and uh, particular deep learning and uh, artificial intelligence, high performance computing in the past few years is really transforming the field of biomedical imaging as we know it. And I believe it will continue to do so in the coming years. And again, coming back to these images, they are actually all produced using technologies that highly synergistic, uh, synergistically integrating, uh, not just imaging instrumentation, state-of-the-art imaging instrumentation, but also highly sophisticated computational methodologies and the machine learning methods. So, and we really want to provide uh, in this context, a new type of training, comprehensive and rigorous training at this unique intersection of biomedical imaging, uh, high performance computing and machine learning. And this is a uh, non-thesis self-funded three semester uh, pretty intense program. And right now we only offer on campus option, but we are definitely looking into the possibility of doing an online version as well. And uh, we really emphasize on training the student to make sure they have a good solid understanding of the tool, the machine learning AI tools that uh, is being rapidly developing these days, and also develop practical skill set to allow us to formulate uh, machine learning AI solutions to practical and challenging biomedical problems. And then we also offer a capstone project uh, during which you will have the unique opportunities to work with world leading experts in biomedical imaging across the campus and also from industrial partners. We'll talk a little bit uh, in the later when you look at the cur uh, curriculum. And based on our research and the, the demand and in the, from the job market is robustly increasing and just give you some numbers and it is expected to see a very robust growth in the market for machine learning AI in the industry of machine learning AI in medical imaging. And it's forecasted to top uh, more than $3 billion as a trillion, a billion dollar industry by 2027. And more importantly, I want to emphasize that there's really strong imbalance between the demand from industry research institution as well as the uh, government agency in the skill set and talents in biomedical image and biomedical data uh, science, uh, science in, in the, in the imbalance between this demand and then the shortage of supply. And to highlight this imbalance, I would like to read this quote from uh, New York Times from 2007. And it says that there's a real shortage of deep learning talents and the big companies are trying to learn as much as, of it as they can. Solving tough AI problem is not like building flavor, for, flavor of the month smartphone app in the entire world field and 10,000 people have the skill necessary to tackle serious artificial intelligence research. So you can be one of these people uh, if you 
in our program. And some additional numbers. And if you do a quick search on job board like Indeed, you will easily find more than 2,000 jobs in using keyword like image and machine learning. And more than 1,500 of them has an expected salary of 90K, not that money is, is so important. Right? And if you reduce the term, if you reduce the search to better image and machine learning, you will also find more than 500 of them. And then about 300 of them uh, has expected salary more than 100K. So this actually from a year ago. So it will be interesting to see what the number has changed uh, for the past, past year also, right? And then one nice thing about this, as we're looking into this, a lot of job opportunity offer remote working flexibility. So you don't have to travel around, okay? And uh, the, the, job, the career process is actually quite exciting. In fact, the more I look into this, uh, the more I wanted to uh, enroll in this program myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you pay attention to the news these days, not the fake ones, right, you will notice that this, the, many of these big tech giants are really heavily invested in this general area of AI and healthcare. And a very major component of this area is to develop AI-based software or algorithms that can automatically detect, diagnose, and characterize disease, and also support clinical decision-making process using the large volume of imaging data that we routinely collect from individual patients these days. And then the uh, potential integrated with other clinical data, such as genomic data. So we have this sheer, uh, very, very huge volume of data from individual patients that we need advanced tools and algorithms to help us make clinical decision with. And so there are really a lot of opportunity in not just in big tech companies, right? And that is really looking for people have the skill set in biomedical imaging, biomedical image analysis, and biomedical data analysis. But there's also a unique opportunity from major healthcare provider and research hospital, major hospital systems on our country, because of this unique space of our medical imaging computing, this uh, really synergy between machine learning, high performance computing, and biomedical problems. And also, we, we noticed this very apparent trend in the past few years is that this is really increasing number of uh, startup companies that are showing up uh, across the world try to focus on developing AI-based software to uh, uh, make intelligent clinical decision-making to uh, support biomedical image and biomedical data analysis. And if you know this biggest society of radiology, this country called RSNA, they have this annual meeting called RSNA. And then if you go to the meeting like five years ago, so you don't see many AI companies. But if you went to the, the, the meeting a couple of years back, you will notice that suddenly there's this dedicated hall, exhibition hall, totally dedicated for companies working in the space of AI, in the intersection of AI and radiology. And there are big companies, small companies, and many, many of them. I was truly amazed when I went there because I didn't notice this at all uh, before. Right? So it's a really exciting time to be in this space. And just a couple of additional examples to kind of connect to what we are talking about here. Again, you will find many opportunities in big small tech companies, but also because of this unique space, you also find very interesting opportunities from uh, this unique environment of the healthcare provider and research hospital systems. And even insurance companies are looking for talents who can do uh, data mining using uh, image informatics tools. And then if you read this job description, you will notice more well, like deep learning, statistical data processing, regression techniques, neural network, decision trees, clustering, blah, blah, blah. There's so many fancy terms here. And then this is the skill set you will be equipped with when you get out of this program. Okay? And through this uh, fairly intensive three semester training, uh, we uh, going through courses that cover a uh, very foundational biomedical imaging science, instrumentation, and uh, high-performance computing, and machine learning, AI tools, 
and also how to develop and deploy uh, machine learning AI solutions on high performance computing platforms. Right? So I won't go into the individual courses in detail, but I'm happy to, if you have more questions, I'm happy to talk about more detail about individual courses uh, after, the, after this. Yeah. And again, we have capstone project that we will design particularly to allow you to work on real biomedical imaging data and to tackle practical real biomedical imaging problems in collaboration with uh, not only the leading experts in this field of biomedical imaging machine learning on campus, but also industrial partners who are stakeholders in this field. And uh, as I said, we really want to establish this one, this is really one of the very first program uh, that focus on this unique space uh, in, in this country. And then I will not be surprised, we will see more and more program coming out on this across the nation, even across the globe. Um, but I wanna say that Illinois is really the perfect place for this program because we really offer very unique resources and capacity capabilities for you to, to get the skill set that you will need to be very successful in this space. For example, we really have world-class faculties that are actively working with a wide range of modern biomedical image modalities, MRI, CT, ultrasound, molecular imaging, optical microscopy, you name it. And we really have world-class facility and resources to provide you the type of experience and training that you will want, and including state-of-the-art imaging facility, really unparalleled computational resources. We have one of the four supercomputing application centers of this campus. And then because of the unique collaboration relationship between different multidisciplinary institutions and clinical partners, I believe that we can offer you the very unique expert, uh, expert perspective into the role of AI in healthcare. Yeah, and then the, if you are considering whether you are where well, this program is for you, I'm uh, just listing out some of the factors for you to consider. But of course, this is not an exhaustive list, and I will happy to discuss with you if you are interested in this particular uh, program. And a couple of uh, common questions I got from students, the first one is that if you don't have an imaging background, right, but I'm interested in this space, maybe pursue career opportunity here, and, uh, uh, can I uh, apply and do well in this program? So the answer is yes. So you don't have, need to have a lot of imaging background per se, but if you have some good background in signal systems and introductory knowledge about some basic imaging modality, so that would be uh, 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 highly preferred. And if not from engineering, that's fine. As long as you have solid quantitative background and analytical background, and you should be able to do well in this course because this is what the program is supposed to do, right? And then the, something I wanna add that I forgot to mention is that because of this unique space, as we see that you do have different kind of career options when you get the right skill set in this space, uh, not just from the, the big tech companies, but also from uh, these more exciting risk-taking startups, and also this very unique environment in the research hospital system. Yeah, it's really a range of options that you can pursue. Yeah, so uh, I will end here and I'm happy to answer any question that you may have.